7B. This is the ACCG's IRMA Liability Program Renewal. Mr. Beals. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, uh, the item before you, uh, as stated, was the ACCG IRMA Liability Program Renewal. Uh, IRMA being our interlocal risk management agency, uh, we've been uh, working with the ACCG IRMA since 1993. As you'll see from the, uh, the comments and information on your agenda item there, uh, we do enjoy a few uh, dividend credits as well as a safety program, uh, programs or uh, entities that have been with ACCG do enjoy uh, receiving back uh, uh, funds through a dividend program as long as they've been with the program since prior to 2004. Uh, we have uh, two renewal options. Renewal option is to continue at the same rate that we're at right now at the 2500 per occurrence on all lines except for uh, uh, law enforcement liability and public official liability, which is at 5000 And they always end up providing us with uh, a second option of uh, increasing those to a $5,000, $10,000 limit. Um, in years past, we've looked at these programs, at uh, the utilization that we've had, uh, the number of claims that have gone through. Um, I think two years ago, we noticed that if we had gone with the reduced or lowered uh, or, or the, actually the higher uh, deductible, there would have been an overall $7,000 uh, savings <clears throat> last year. I think we saw a three to five. Uh, I think the biggest thing that we look at here is looking into that crystal ball and knowing how many lightning strikes we'll have, other breakdowns and stuff like that. So uh, our, our recommendation is to continue with the uh, coverage that we have, but I'll be happy to answer any questions you have or get you any statistics between now and uh, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Any questions? Kevin. You just answered my question. I'm going to ask you about the deductible and the yes, sir. incidences. And yes, sir. I, I wanted to know which, to what extent um, does it cover law enforcement uh, liability? What type of occurrences or issues? Um, I, I know when we look back at the different types of things that, that come across, you know, it's, it's mostly in regards to action. When it comes to vehicle type accidents, stuff like that, that's still at the $2,500 level. But when it comes to the possibility of uh, uh, some sort of court case and stuff like that, there is an involvement in that and the liability that exists. <coughs> Particulars, I can get you a list of exactly what type of offenses or, or, or claims that have come through. Say so like someone. lawsuits. Uh -oh. Yeah, general lawsuits, stuff of that nature. Mr. Pritchard might have some experience with that. The, uh, the primary concern here obviously is for the vehicles and associated with the use of those by law enforcement. Um, there are some uh, indemnifications based on our coverage, um, but we'll provide you with that. Uh, Kevin can get you a list of that tomorrow. All right, thanks. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Mr. <clears throat> 